And for more on today's game, let's head back to Jacksonville and check in with our man Steve Lehman. And Steve, it looked like good old fashioned physical Titans football out there today, what we've been accustomed to. Yeah, John, it really did. After a week one loss against the Raiders, the Titans came to Jacksonville with the pressure on, looking to avoid an early season two game deficit within the AFC South. And on Sunday, they withstood an early push from a suddenly believing Jaguars team, then took control of this game with a suffocating defensive effort, which did not allow a single point for eight possessions in this middle of the game after giving up a field goal on the opening drive. And then they blew the game open on offense with a field goal and four touchdowns in their first five possessions of the second half en route to a convincing 37-16 win. Proud of our team coming back, coming into, uh, coming in here and, and getting a win and, and playing well in all three phases. And that to me was a difference. I thought we uh, hung in there, came in the second half and just kept playing. It's complimentary football, you know. We go out there and stop the run. Our offense go out there and move the ball, running the ball. So it, it goes hand in hand. That was huge. Very important win for us. To be able to get a divisional win on the road. Uh, was huge, and um, you know, God we're able to do that. I don't care what anybody else says. We we owe them one. It's definitely this place is a tough play to play. Uh, Duval County, whatever they call it, um, it's a tough play. To, tough place to play, but we wanted to make sure we come out here with the right intensity, right focus, and take care of uh, what's ahead of us. And that was them. Now, truthfully, Brian Arakpo was the only Titans player to allude to that loss last year when the Titans lost their playoff hopes and also lost Marcus Mariota to a broken leg. The team's motivation for this game was come out and win their first division game of the year, and they did that by winning their first game here in Jacksonville since 2013, snapping an 11-game losing streak in road games against AFC South foes.